Hi guys, welcome back to Practice Lab. In this video, I'm going to solve a problem which was asked in one of the interviews conducted by Capgemini. The candidate had around four years of experience working as a Java developer. And apart from Java, he was having knowledge of writing REST APIs and Spring Boot as well. When the candidate shared this interview question, he was selected and he was offered a series of 12 to 15 MPA. Okay. So I didn't got exact detail about this ETC which was offered or about the selection, but he must have got about this first ETC. Now let me explain what was the problem statement and how we solved it using Java at stream APIs. Okay, so he was given a class of student and this class had four attributes, name, marks, standard, and gender. He was asked to find how many girls which got more than 60 marks in fifth standard and he was asked to do this by using java at stream APIs. so here you can see this is the class student which has four attributes name mark standard and gender i have created a list of these students which i'm going to use as an input in my program and then here you can see i have got the count of girls as two which are having marks more than 60 and those girls are in fifth standard. Okay, so I'll print the details as well. Okay guys, so if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe and let's get started with the code. So here you can see, I have written a class, find girls in fifth class having more than 60 months. So here I have created a class student and inside that I have four attributes, name, marks, standard and gender. Now, let me create the getters and setters to get and set the student details. I'm going to use source, then generate getter setters, select all fields and click on OK. Now I got getter setters. I will use constructor to create the students. So I'm going to use generate constructor using fields and I'll select all the fields and click on OK. Now I'll copy this constructor and I'll simply create a constructor without fields. Okay, so this will give me a default constructor and what I will do, I will use two string method to print the details about the student. So I will click on generate two string, select all the fields and click on OK. So I am done with the creation of student class. So what we did, we had a class student. There were four fields, name, mark, standard and gender. We created getter setters and constructor and two string. Next thing is we need to find the girls who got more than 60 marks in fifth class using stream APIs. Okay, so here I have written that class and inside that I have written main method which is going to be starting point for our program execution. Now, what I will do, I will create a list of these students. So I'm going to use java.util.list and this will be my students list. Okay. Next thing is I need to initialize this list. So I'm going to use arrays dot as list and I'll simply copy the list of students from my problem statement. So I'll copy this and I'll test it here. So I'll get a list of students. Next thing is we need to use stream APIs to find the girls who is up who are in fifth standard and got more than 60 months. So before solving this problem, we will try to to break down this statement or problem statement into smaller parts and then we move on. So what we need to do is we need to first find the girls. Okay, so we need to filter the students based on their gender. Then next thing is we need to find the girls who got more than 60 marks. So marks should be greater than 60. Next thing what we need to do is we need to find the girls which are having more than 60 marks and which belongs to fifth standard. So girls should be in fifth standard and then we need to count all search words. Okay, so I'm going to use count or print search words. Okay, so we are done with breaking down the statement. Next thing is we need to solve this problem using Java stream Okay, so I'm going to use student list dot stream function to convert this list into stream then i'm going to use filter function to filter the 
students based on their gender. So I'll get the girls. Okay. So here I'm going to write a condition which will give me the gender of that student. And if that gender is equals to female, then I'm going to say that that is a girl. Okay. So this will give me all the girls from that list. Next thing is that that girl should have marks more than 60. So again, I'll write a filter to filter these girls based on their marks. So I'll get the marks and these marks should be more than 60. Then the next condition is that girl should belong to fifth standard. So again, I'm going to use filter and I'm going to make sure that student.get standard is equals to fifth. So that girl will belongs to the fifth class. Now I got all the girls which are having more than 60 books and those belongs to fifth standard. Next thing is I need to count such words. So I'm going to use count function and this count function will return me a long type of data. So I'm going to store this into a long type of variable. Now I got all the girls count which belongs to fifth standard and are having marks more than 60. Now let me print this count using C -salt. Okay. <clears throat> Now I'm done with writing code and let us run this code and see the output. So here you can see I got the count of girls as two. Now let us verify if this count is correct or not. So we have these five students. So first condition is that girl should be female. So this is the first girl which is satisfying the condition. Then this is also female. This is also satisfying the condition. This is also satisfying the condition. And this is also satisfying the condition. Now I got the four females. Then the marks should be more than 60. So let us validate the next condition. So here we have 65 marks. So this is satisfying the condition. Here we have 70 marks. So this is also satisfying the condition. Then we have 75 marks. This is also satisfying the condition. And here we have 50 marks. So this is not satisfying the condition. Now I have these three girls which are satisfying the condition which is having more than 60 marks then next that girl should belongs to the fifth standard so let us validate if out of these three how many girls are satisfying this condition so here you can see the girl is in fifth standard so this is also satisfying the condition next girl is in sixth so this is not satisfying the condition then we have another girl which is in fifth and this is also satisfying the condition so these are the two girls which are satisfying the conditions. Okay. So we got the correct count. If you want to print this, what I will do, I'll simply leave this and I'll comment out this. And instead of this count, what I will do, I will use the for each to print the details about the girl. So I'm going to use for each to print the details about each girl, which is there. <coughs> student list and satisfying these conditions. Okay, now I'll simply comment out this code and show you the output. So right click run as Java application and here you can see we have got the two students which were satisfying the condition. The first one is G1 and the next one is G3. Okay guys, so that's it from this video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Also, if you have any interview questions which you would like to share with others or you need any assistance to crack the interviews, you can connect us at practicelab23 at Thank you.